Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Summonite 5. Today, we have to defeat Gift with the main character and do all the other stuff that we normally have to do. Well, defeat Gift and defeat Logins, apparently. So let's go ahead and get all set up here. Um, yeah, it seems like Gift is no longer the nice guy from last time. He's kind of evil. Also, I got Wooly up to level 14, which unlocked the future Summon Star class, and it also makes her Beast rank or her beast summons rank B, so I can use a little bit more of um, those higher class summons with her. So, that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah, we, uh, we did. Oh, um, something tells me... No, don't think so. Oh, huh. I wonder what exactly Gift did to Loggins. Yeah, he... he went from kind of like a coward to, um... Yeah, somebody very overconfident, to be quite honest. So we have these Bud Myers that we have to uh, go ahead and kill, so let's go ahead and bring her on over there and uh, start doing it. You know what? I really do want to use um, other attacks besides Spirit or Angel or Demon or whatever they want to call it, attacks, uh, to kill these enemies, just so I can get, um, you know, 50 kills with those other attacks in order to... Um, Oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Unlock various missions. So, I've already unlocked the one for Spirit, Angel, Demon, whatever it is. Um, so, hopefully I can unlock some more. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, awesome. Wow, Sokin's magic attack is so good. He really has a very, very high magic stat. It's very, very nice. Kallus's isn't so hot, but... You know, he is good um, defense, he has good HP, he actually has pretty decent attack power, too. So, yeah, I can deal with it. Uh, let's see, we'll bring Wooly, uh, yeah, over here, whatever. There's not really much for her to do. Uh, I guess you could, I don't know. Yeah, you could, eh, step plus. I don't know, you can increase your range, sure, whatever. There's nothing else for her to do. I mean, I might as well have her and give her a step up or something. I also need to make sure to use a life residence, because they always seem to forget to do that. And then I have to, like, redo the battle, which isn't that bad. I need the experience and gold and all that stuff anyway, so I might as well. Oh, there's two guys right over here. Awesome! You know what? I wonder, if I use a blank flash, if I could just weaken them enough and hit all three of them. Oh, no, but I can hit two of them, but I might as well... Well, you know what? Let's do this. Hey, yeah! Ooh, that's really nice! Oh, well... I killed them using angel spirit attacks, but eh, whatever. It's not the end of the world. It's not the biggest deal if I do it. It would just be nice um, to unlock those various other attacks. If I do, I do. If I don't, I'm not gonna, you know, lose sleep over it or anything. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so here we got some more guys. Uh, Spinel, let's see. I'm gonna have you. There we go. Awesome. And, let's see, let's have you move a little bit out of the way, uh, so that these guys can do some more damage over here. There we are. Oh, by the way, these, um, these Mudmires, as they call them, they are weak to all elements. And the humanoid characters, unless they have an accessory, they don't have any kind of, um, elemental weaknesses or anything else like that, so don't worry about that. Um... Another thing, though, the Mudmires have a lot of defense against regular physical hits. So if you are struggling against them, just use magic. That's pretty much the way to go in this game in general. Just use magic. You know, it, it is what it is. Ooh, yeah. Everybody just kind of get together, do your own thing. Hey, awesome. They're all, yeah, they're exactly where I want them. That's very, very good. Oh, another thing, I do need to defeat Gift with Arca, but that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see, we'll have Soak and deal with these guys. You know what, let's move Arca over here. I'm um, not going to deal with her right now as far as her attacking right now, but let's see if I can just kill these guys. I'm just, okay, yeah. There we go. Maybe I'll have Ruli go over and uh, take out that last straggler. She has nothing else to do, so she might as well. Let's see, just use Green Rock. Awesome. Nice! And then I want to hopefully weaken him enough with, um, oh, she's not close enough, with Spinel and Callus so that Arca can just finish off Gift. Let's see, how much can you do? 48? That sucks. Let's try something. Actually, let's 
let me look at your resistances. Yeah, no, no various resistances to speak of, so it doesn't really matter what I use, but 63 is a hell of a lot better than the, I don't know, what that, 43 last time, something like that. So, anyway, let's go on, go over here, and, uh, yeah, there we go, about 47. What is this, 64? Much better. Ooh! Yeah, something tells me that Arky can finish him off. Oh, you know what, does, does anybody have 100 MPD's life residence? No. Sucks. Okay, so I am gonna have to redo this battle. Um, I'll redo it off screen as usual, just to get the life, um, residence, brave medals. Just for party skills and all that kind of good stuff, but I got the hard one done, so, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, no kidding, what did happen to you? How'd you go from, like, zero to crazy in 2.5 seconds? That was pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Ooh! Yeah, those stone chips that we got right there, those are very, very nice for learning new abilities of the blacksmith. So I'm gonna have to uh, check all that stuff out off screen and figure out exactly what I wanna do, what I can do, what I can't do, and then um, let you guys know probably next episode. We'll see. It all depends. You know, where I cut things and everything as far as whenever I do my housekeeping. Oh. Huh. Wait, data? Are you collecting data on Arca? What's going on here? Oh. Maybe you're collecting data on Loggins. I mean, he is your guinea pig. Oh. Huh. Um, what exactly did she possess? Really? I didn't think anybody looked up to her. I mean, she is a summoner, but you didn't know her then. She was just some little girl running around the woods. Oh, wow. This guy's, like, certifiable. Whoa. Yeah, go ahead and arrest him, young Hewa. We wouldn't let you do it earlier at the Hot Pot Festival, but there's nobody around here now. Just get him. Arrest him. We've killed him. Come on now. Uh, yes and yes. Oh. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, you know, it always does a body good to kind of sleep on things. I I do that myself. If you have, like, a big decision or something like that to come up, you, you know, you let them know, oh, well, I'll give you a decision tomorrow. Let me just sleep on it. It, uh, it does kind of help put things in order, if you catch my drift. Oh. I thought that you guys didn't like him, but now you're happy that he's back? <laughs> Wonder pants. <laughs> yeah, uh, Gift and Atash, there's no love lost between these two. Although, you know, you would think that since Atash is the leader of the Crimson Chain, that he just wouldn't, I don't know, just wouldn't hire Gift, but then again, I guess he needs Gift's special skills. Oh, yeah, it is a rather, uh, slow and involved process. Ooh, the Academy heist! Oh, no! What exactly are you trying to steal there? Okay, whenever he talks about the black suits, he's, pre he's pretty much talking about logins and all the other randoms that we have to fight all the time. Oh, so you can't make it invincible? Huh. Okay. Yeah, I kind of agree there. You know, it is all about the results, I've got to say, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's really about how you got the results. Well, I don't know. I mean, it, if you have to hurt people, harm people's lives, and things like that, then I guess it isn't all about the results, but man, today's day and age, you could have fooled me. Ugh. We're a degenerate. Wow. He really does not like gift. Okay. Hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> hmm. I wonder if Gift is just kind of going along with the Crimson Chain just to, uh, you know, meet his own ends. He's not actually doing it to help the Crimson Chain. Well, that's true. He's not doing it to help the Crimson Chain. He just said that their ideas or ideologies or whatever um, were were in line, and they're kind of, you know helping each other out, but it seems to me like Gift is getting a lot more help from them than he's giving to, um, to the Crimson Chain, because he's kind of just turning all of his henchmen crazy. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess it is kind of Shakespearean. Yeah, it's the whole, uh, et tu brute sort of thing going on there, yeah. Huh. But, I mean, that was like ten years ago. You know, people grow, people change. It just, you can't help it. You can't feel bad about it. It just, it is what it is. That's life. People grow up. People get, you know, new priorities in life. And apparently, his priorities aren't all that hot. Oh. Yeah, well, that's not the first time that he's done it before, but the last time he did it, he wasn't aware that he did it. Oh. Well, they're not all that powerful, so I'm not really all that concerned. Oh. No, we haven't. Something tells me that Spinel was not born in that mud miry gook land. I don't know. But then again, okay, here we go. I'm wondering. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Since, since, um... Gift didn't know that he was summoning those mud mires, and since at the same time that he was summoning those mud mires, Spinel appeared, I wonder if he somehow accidentally summoned Spinel, or made her appear, or something along those lines. Maybe Spinel is actually supposed to be Gift's cross, but she crossed paths with Arca first. I don't know. And that might be another reason why Yang Hua is looking for. Um, gift, and also why she's so... Uh, I don't know, what's the word that I'm looking for? Why she's so, um... I don't know, really into whatever Spinel's doing. Why, why, why she's, um... God, I can't think of the words. It's like right on the tip of my tongue. Like, she's she's always, like, after Spinel. Always trying to, like, like figure out what she's actually doing whenever Spinel's not really not doing anything wrong. She just keeps on thinking that she's going to, like... I don't know, start a war or something. I don't know if I explained it the right way, because I still can't think of the word that I was looking for. There's one word that would really make this, um, make it make more sense, but, eh, I can't think of it right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She really does care about you. Oh, yeah, he didn't act crazy in front of Spinel. And he did seem kind. He only acted crazy in front of you, Arca. Oh, yeah, totally. No kidding. Well, people grow up, people change, you know? Shit happens. Well, yeah, he's working for Crimson Chain, and he's um, using those black suits as just lab dogs, I guess. It's awful. Friend to frenemy. <laughs> uh, something tells me he's a little bit more than a frenemy, he's just an enemy. Oh, you want to talk to him again? Why don't you just go kick his ass again? Well, of course he's going to be back. Oh, um, yeah, that too. Of course we're going to have to fight. Oh, it scares you to fight Gift? He wasn't that hard, Spinel. He was actually kind of easy. Oh. Yeah, believe in yourself, and be strong! An illusion? Are you an illusion? Huh, maybe that's why Young Hua doesn't trust you, because she knows you're an illusion or something. But can we stop Gift, and can we stop the Crimson Chain from breaking into the Academy and stealing their treasure? Find out next time on Let's Play Summon Night 5. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.
Thank you.